And welcome back, YouTube. This is Boosterbats Buster here with another video. Today I am extremely excited to share with you a pop culture shock, one quarter scale, mixed media statue review. The focus of this video is of one of video games' most iconic female characters ever, Chun Li from the Street Fighter franchise. First appearing in Street Fighter 2 and appearing in nearly every single Street Fighter game or Capcom vs. game since Street Fighter 2, she became an icon of the Street Fighter series right up there with Ryu and Ken and deserves a place on the throne of one of video game's queen characters. Now this particular statue is really cool, as it is mixed media. What that means is her clothing, for the most part, is actually made out of fabric. Even her tights on her legs is made out of fabric, which is a really cool feature. Her shoes, unfortunately, are that cold cast uh, poly resin. But I can understand that because, especially at the base, where the boot connects to the base, it gives that a little bit extra stability, because if that was clothing, that could definitely uh, cause some issues down the line. But her... Her tights are fabric. Her outfit is fabric. Her uh, hairpiece, unfortunately, is not fabric. That is also cold cast, and her... Uh, arm gauntlets there are also cold cast as well. This particular statue stands roughly about 16 inches tall. So to make sure you have enough clearance, I would definitely make sure you have a good foot and a half to make sure that you have enough clearance when you actually put the statue inside your display case. Now we'll say this is an earlier pop culture shock piece. So they were still kind of working out some kinks at the time. One issue that I do worry about with this particular statue is the potential for leaning. Because it is heavily weighted on her left side with the leg raised in the air. So it could potentially lean to the left as time goes on. I do have to say this is the classic Street Fighter 2 outfit that they decided to go with, and I absolutely love it. The detail on her outfit is simple, yet precise. They did a really good job with the shoes, as you can tell, all laced up. Very, very well done. The arm guards all have their spikes intact. No chip damage there, so that was a very nice plus. And one nice little bonus on these particular on this particular figure is the hands actually come off, so there's no uh, potential damage during shipping. So that's a very nice feature that they included. They're attached by magnets, so you don't have to worry about them. Uh, falling off all the time in the future. And that magnet is very strong as you can tell by that snapback that just happened there. I gotta say I am very impressed with this particular statue. At the time, I, I got this quite a while ago. At the time I did have the option to obtain the red dress or the blue dress. I opted for the classic blue just because it's the iconic 
outfit that she is known for. The red one was a great player two option, but I just prefer blue. I, I like blue as a color a little bit more than red, personally. Now one particular issue that I do have is her head is kind of facing down. So that implies that her opponent is probably lying on the ground and she just like beat him up and won the battle. I kind of wish her head was tilting a little bit more up just so you could see the detail on her face from far from further away. But that's just a minor a sticking point there. Let's go in for a close-up view of Chun Li. Alright, as you can tell, the base is a very solid black base. Unfortunately, no nameplate. Pop culture talk doesn't like to put any sort of nameplate on there. They do give you a certificate of authenticity, but uh, that's not the, always the easiest to display alongside the character. And on top of that, um, it's very flimsy. It's a very flimsy piece of paper that the certificate of authenticity is. The nameplate would always be great, just so you could have a general direction of what way the character is supposed to be facing. On top of that, anybody that doesn't know the character could read the Facebook and be like, oh, Chun-Li Street Fighter. That's cool. Let's go up to the boot, close up of the boot there. Very well stitched. As you can tell, the cross stitching there is very well done. Leading up to the straps at the top. Connected by a metal rod, a single metal rod that goes hopefully far up the shoe into the base here. There's the other shoe. Once again, very well detailed. A close-up of her dress. No, I will not be revealing the uh, undergarments here. But I will say they do exist. The strap around her dress right here. Very well detailed. Look at, look at that fine detail in the fabric of the dresser. That is really nice. Really well done. I'm sure you could cast it off, but once again, you're not going to see that done here. I do not want to destroy the statue, the clothing on the statue, for that reason. The hands are pretty well articulated. Maybe a little bit of a chip there on her uh, pinky, but that's only noticeable if you're up really close. Maybe just a really long nail. I'm not 100% sure on that. Her headdress right there is, it's kind of odd. It's part fabric right here, but the actual buns are cold cast. I, I kind of don't understand the logic behind that. But I'm not the one designing the statue. So you can still kind of pose it, semi-pose it, like it's flowing in the wind. That's kind of cool. Oh, here's her other hand with the spike guard. Very well done. And now let's take a quick look at the face. The detail on the ear there is actually really, really well done. Take a look at that. You even got the earring there, that's a really nice touch. There's her face, very pointed. I love the lip gloss on the lips. 
Her nose is very uh, technically correct. Her eyes actually look good. Uh, sometimes on these hand-painted ones, the eyes kind of look really goofy, like one eye's pointing in the complete wrong direction. But these eyes actually look like they're staring right at where they're supposed to be staring. And the eyebrows are there. I love... I, I'm, I have a love-hate relationship with the little piece of hair flowing in front of her eyes there. In anime, it's really cool because oftentimes they have like that see-through thing where you could see the eye. This is 100% opaque. So I can't, I have a really hard time seeing the second eye, or her right eye, unless I get really close to the figure itself. And we'll just pop off that hand real quick. And there is the other ear. I gotta say, the hair is actually not bad. This little piece right here kind of flowing in front of her eye looks a bit odd. It doesn't look like it flows quite right like natural hair would. But besides that, her hair is actually pretty dang good. Overall, I gotta say this is a fantastic Chun-Li statue. And I would definitely recommend uh, any Street Fighter fan adding this to their collection if they can obtain it. It is a fantastic statue. Uh, overall, I could easily uh, give this a solid 9.0 recommendation. It is probably my favorite statue, t well, tied with the Street Fighter Kami statue that I have. Just two fantastic statues. I highly recommend uh, anyone who does not have it in their collection, who is a Chun-Li fan, to definitely, definitely consider find finding one and picking one up if you can find one for a relatively reasonable price. With all that said, I think we have reached the ending point of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you really enjoyed the video and want to see future content like this, hit that subscribe button. Both those actions help out the channel tremendously. Uh, leave in the comments section who your favorite Street Fighter character is. Uh, to use in the game, mine's probably Blanca. And if you want to check out a past video on the channel, it should be appearing right about now, or maybe it's already appeared. Until next time, this has some Booster Box Buster with a pop culture shock, one quarter scale, Street Fighter Chun Li, mixed media statue review, and I'm signing out. Peace.